Ota, a Japanese multinational auto motive manufacturer, has opened a second assembly plant in Ghana, snobbing Nigeria, which has the biggest economy in West Africa. This comes less than three months after the American microblogging giant plant for platform, Twitter, also snobbed Nigeria for Ghana. The launch of a Toyota assembly plant in Ghana, the second auto assembly plant in the country in less than a year, we help reduce imports of second-hand vehicles and boost export earnings, Ghana President Nana Akufuado said on Tuesday. The assembly unit is $7 million investment with annual production capacity of around 1,330 30 units, follows the launch by Volkswagen of a 5,000 unit per year capacity assembly facility in August 2020. The plants are the result of global automakers auto such as VW, Nissan, Toyota, Honda, and Peugeot waking up to the potential of the African market, traditionally dominated by used cars sales. According to Reuters, at the launch, Akufado said Ghana aims to boost its auto sector and attract automakers with generous fiscal incentives to assemble and produce cars in the country. The use of foreign exchange to import cars in Ghana will be reduced. At the same time, the exports of made in Ghana cars to other African markets will earn a nation much needed foreign exchange, foreign exchange, Akufu Adu said. The plant will assemble Toyota Helos pickups and other sedans by Toyota by the Toyota Tusho Manufacturing Company Limited. Twitter in April announced plans to set an African office in Ghana. The development was revealed by its CEO Jagosi via a tweet. Twitter is now present on the continent. Thank you, Ghana and Nana Akufuado, he said. According to NOI post, 39.6 million Nigerians have a Twitter account, which is more than the entire 32 million population of Ghana. Many Nigerians have blamed the poor management of Nigeria's economy, abysmal human rights and record, and attack on media and free speech by the president, Muhammadu Buhari led government for the reason why the country has not been attacking, attracting as much foreign direct investment as it should, judging by its size in Africa. And on June 5th, Nigerian government officially banned Twitter after the company deleted a comment posted by Buhari on the platform, which many Nigerians found distasteful. Well, they will tell you it is. it does not matter. The only thing we will talk about is cow. What Buhari is concerned about is to discover the grazing roots of a 1960-something. That is what Buhari is after. That is his agenda. No, no, nothing more. See the train they said they constructed Kaduna Abuja Road is always giving forth breaking down at the same time and the Minister of uh, Transportation Amechi telling us that they are going to return it return was as a return fire why it, just in less than how many is it up to two three years I, which I, 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 I doubt is beginning to have problem and they are telling us they did this and if you go and check amount of money being spent on that locomotive uh, train you'll be surprised and they are bragging yes we have done what have you not done now how can the old set just break down well, that is that is it. It is what it is. And more so, they were making one. Oh, Twitter should just go to help with them. What is the big deal? Forget it. It does not matter. But now, when they deleted Buari's Twitter, they are now telling us that, oh, why would they go there? And Nigeria has a whatever, whatever. I mean, why you don't even recognize the Nigerians that you are talking about, that the Nigerians who are using the Twitter users from Nigerians, you know, it's just from Nigeria is much more than that of Ghana. And why would they go there and set up this thing? Now, before Twitter, it was this uh, Toyota that went there. This is the second one they are doing. They will tell you it, is, it does not matter. They want to, they are concerned about uh, Nam de Kano. They are concerned about how the Nigeria, the country will not break down. Of course, who is not embarrassing itself now? Is it the citizens or what? They are seeing everything. They are seeing everything. And that is why they are just borrowing, 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 borrowing. What are we even doing? What are the investments on ground? Foreign, foreign investors cannot come in. And they will be blabbing. Ease of doing business. Ease of doing business. What is ease of doing business? They have nothing to offer apart from cow. That is the only thing we discuss in this country. In this country. Hmm. Cow, cow, cow. We have lost a lot in this uh, present government. Something is wrong with our leadership style. Nigeria celebrated arrested of a uh, Kano yesterday and Ghana celebrated opening of Toyota assembly, assembly plants same yesterday. 
where there is no sentiment there. It is business. What is driving foreign investments out away from Nigeria are primarily insecurity, especially in the north, and a currency that is very unstable and without value. Then, with the IPOP and Odua, you add political instability in the south. Nigeria has never been this bad, apart from Ghana being relatively peaceful and politically stable. The Ghana CD. Hmm. Yes, the Ghana CD is now the most performing currency in Africa, but they will still be making math. The likes of uh, Lai Mohammed and what is this man's name? Mm, Lai Mohammed and Femi Adeshino, Gabashewu. First, okay, I'm always mentioning that man's name because I just uh, believe that he should know better, but unfortunately, you can see the way they are behaving. Ordinary job they still want to create in their own country. They told us that they were to create about 770 something thousand jobs. Up to now, nothing has happened. They cannot even see coordinate that. And you expect foreign investors to come to this kind of environment. After the MD of Toyota saw this photo, he just knew Nigeria is not the right place to station the assembly plant. A country where a professor of law, who happens to be the vice president of Nigeria, had been reduced to Babaloja, Pepet Technologist. In fact, is the supreme leader of market women, Tomatoes and Pepe Association of Zoo. Hmm, can you imagine? Uh, that's the picture of a uh, what is this man's name? The vice president in this uh, is a trader money adventure. You can't start a business without a feasibility study. This basic study will reveal the environmental factors that are capable of influencing your business positively or negatively. In doing so, in Nigeria, the study will reveal insecurity, unstable exchange rates, multiple taxes, massive corruption, poor road network, high inflation rates, poor government support, low purchasing power, policy, somersault, and so on. All this must be considered by Toyota and Nigeria can't be the choice. You can imagine. Is it not disgraceful? Is it not disgraceful? Even our, our dollar that is even going, our naira that is even going higher, higher. They are not even bothered. No, I think they are, they, they are body go rest now. Let's see what they, they have been looking for, how to get them. They can is, is, is their problem. Maybe their body go rest now. Well, we have cow assemble, assembly plants, bandit assembly plants, restructuring assembly plants, sentimental assembly plants, anarchist assembly plants, and all crime assembly plants. Our children, we have work to do to avoid systematic slavery. So, it is what it is, oh. They will come and say, forget it, it does not matter. Leave that thing. It does not matter. So leave your comment down there below and let us know what you think about this whole thing. Whether we are moving forward or we are, we are retrogressing.